possibly best known as the bushy browed dwarf Dory in The Hobbit and Harry in King Kong is one of our most popular and respected performers. He's now reprising the role of middle-aged men in, my, in Lycra in the show Mammal for sure. I love this show. To tell us more about it and this contentious breed that rides the streets of suburbia, please welcome to the cafe, recently honoured, Mark Hadlow. Yes. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you, Mel. Fantastic to be here. Absolute pleasure to have you here. So you've got an Order of Merit, a New Zealand Order of yeah, Merit. Yeah, I've got an Officer of the uh, New Zealand Order of Merit. So what does this mean? You get a little badge? You have I, a ceremony? I think the Governor General gives me a medal at Government House in sometime in, in the future. And I'm, yeah, I'm chuffed. I'm absolutely chuffed um, to, to receive it. I really am. Because, you know, you go along, you just chip away at your job, and then one day someone gives you a tap on the shoulder and says, look, we just really enjoyed what you've been doing. And... And, and of course, I haven't done it on my own since drama school in 1978. Mm. There's been all those people that I've worked with and been involved with, and right up to now with Greg, you know, doing Mammal. It's, you know, it's a team job, and so it's not just about me. It's about our industry, and if that gives us some, uh, you know. Ad you know, some publicity out there. Hooray! Yes, of, for theater. Well, no, and look, and well deserved too, because you are Thank incredible. You so Love what you, you do. Okay, let's talk about mammals. So, <laughs> is it a comedy? It is so a comedy. Right. Um, what do you think? It's a man in yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. well, What does that mean? Some <laughs> serious I issues. I spelled in micro. And my wife thinks I look amazing. I'm I kidding. Bet she does. does. <laughs> no, but there's um, some serious it's, issues it's, as well. No, it's fantastic. Greg Cooper and I got together about three and a half years ago. Um, an idea I had when I did some writing with some friends while I was doing The Hobbit. And the conversations that we had were absolutely unbelievable. It was health issues, business issues, you know, marital issues, all those sort of problems that we were talking about in the peloton. And I went, this is not like, <laughs> this wasn't men's talk. It was, but it was, it was fantastic. I mean, it was cheaper than going to a psychologist and it was cheaper mm. than going to a men's group. And, and you were getting some exercise. And so Greg went away and wrote this fantastic script for nine characters, which I play all of you them. Play all nine, I play yes. all nine characters, the South African and Indian dairy owner, which, I'm, which I love because I spent three years in India. India. And uh, some of my best friends are. Oh, uh, I can run well. You know, I'm going to ask now. Yeah, no, I, I, some friends of mine run Little India. And um, so the first time I met uh, Suki and his team, I went, How are you? What are you doing? And he, I mean, we just, hysterical, hysterical. But, and then I also, I can say this, I also play my penis, which is an extra, <laughs> my penis talks to me. Oh, you lie. How do you think that makes me feel? I know I disappoint you, but I try hard. <laughs> oh, you're ignoring me. Well, that's all right. I understand. Now's not the time. Now's never the time with you. What do you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean by that. Look, I can't just turn it on like a tap anymore. I need time to warm up. <laughs> see, see, the thing is that this doesn't surprise me that you talk to your penis in the show because you're a man in lycra, full well, body lycra. That well, obviously plays a huge, well, well, maybe a huge part. Thanks very much, Mel. Um, no, um, no, I mean, that's one of the small, that's one of the small parts. <laughs> Sorry, that, was, that was amazing, thank you. <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the other characters, are, it, it's all about this guy who's a property developer who actually loses his shirt in the um, GFC in 2007. So right. it's, in, it's in, in history. And how he hates um, mammals. He tries to run them over. That's how the play starts, him yeah. trying to run over a mammal. In fact, he does run up one over. And, um, and then it's all about how the GFC affects his business. He ends up completely destitute without any money. His family leaves him, blah, blah, blah. And he has to actually go and join a bike group called Mammals, Middle-Aged Men in Lycra. They run the country. And then what happens is, from that peloton, he becomes the man he was before he became an art hole, right. which is which is great, and the story is fabulous, and that's what I love. It's not a stand-up comedy show; it's an actual theatre show that's been written brilliantly and crafted, and the levels of these characters and these this old crusty guy who used to do cement, who's you know, Wayne, and he talks yeah, yeah, working up a bit of a sweat there, bro. Feels good, eh? Oh, sweat helps you forget. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, and it's all this sort of stuff. And the, uh, look, and there's an Irishman who's always angry, and the South African I love. Cookie, you kept me waiting, man. That's really rude. Lucky for you, I'm not teed off and they're playing golf together. There's so much. I mean, I'm just oh, dreading no, no, doing it again, but it's fantastic. I hope people come. It's on Friday and Saturday night in the, the Bruce Mason um, this weekend. They've got to come. Yeah. Don't worry about the Lions matches. You can set the record button and do yeah. that later. Um, and, um, but it's, you know, live theatre is so important 
It's so important because it is of what we are and it represents what we are socially at the moment and this story specifically because you can either love or hate mammals but the story and it's not just about people who wear mammal to come to the show this has got something for everyone we've had women um, in the audience actually laugh out loud and stop the show with their comments like I'd be in the middle of the talking to myself with three or four or five different characters and someone said I don't believe he said that. I mean, <laughs> this is a great story. This is one. Of, there's a scene where he goes to meet his um, his uh, liquidator after his business fails, and we've got a lift scene, <laughs> and we're in the audience, and this is in Christchurch at the Court Theatre, and like so, the sound effect, lift doors open, <laughs> someone farted in the audience <laughs> as the lift door opens, and I was going to ignore it. I was going to ignore it, right? And I thought, no, lowest lowest form of, of, oh, of entertainment. You know and I said, I said. I couldn't resist. I said, who was that? And the audience just fell about. Oh, and love that's where it. we have to leave it. Leaving it on a fart joke <laughs> is always a good thing. <laughs> yeah, good eye. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's Mark, a pleasure. Yeah. And thank you so much for what you guys do, because I mean, it, it, I, I love coming on the show, and uh, it's a great show. Well, we'll, we'll come and see your show now that Please you've been do. on theirs. Okay, if you'd like to go and see Mark and Mammal, which sounds incredible, plays this Friday and Saturday at the Bruce Mason Theatre. Just jump online at aucklandlive.co.nz for all the details.